Hey guys, it's Julie. So today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine on the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. And this is one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations. It is a really great coverage for me. It goes on like a medium, close to full coverage. It lasts all day long. It doesn't look greasy. It just looks perfect on my skin. I know that some people, if they have more oily skin, I've seen reviews on this and it doesn't seem to work with people that have oily skin. But if you have more normal to dry skin, this foundation is awesome. So just keep watching and we're going to go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and apply my concealer to my under eyes and lately I've been using the Rimmel London Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer and the color I use is 125 Fair and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. Once I got my under eye concealer on, then I'm going to go ahead and take my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 and I'm just going to blend out the concealer with that. This brush is like perfect for concealer. Blends out the concealer really nicely and it's really gentle on your under eye area. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation which is the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. And my color is in fair. So I'm almost out of this foundation, so I may need to break into this one. So we'll just see. It's getting super low. I just go ahead and squirt some of that on the back of my hand. To apply this foundation, I'm going to use the Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 brush. And I love this brush for this foundation. It just applies this foundation so nice. So I just start buffing it into the skin. Also I have some breakouts down here. Oh, it's so bad. So I'm going to try to cover those up. I guess if you're going to have some breakouts though, it's better to be on your chin down here where people can't see it than on your face. Like, I used to use my Beauty Blender with this foundation, but I find that this brush is the best for this foundation. So now I just go ahead and apply a little bit more concealer to my nose because I always feel like my nose needs a little bit more coverage there. It always seems like the foundation doesn't last as long, I guess because your nose is kind of out there and you touch it a lot. So I'm just going to blend this out on the nose with the F86 brush. Okay, next if I have any blemishes, um, I'm gonna conceal that with my Maybelline The Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I don't really feel like this is the best for blemishes, so if you all know of a concealer out there that works really good to hide blemishes, please let me know down in the comments because I haven't found one at the drugstore that works good. So whether it be drugstore or high-end, if you all know of one, list it down in the comments because I would like to try it out. But this is all I have right now, so this is what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to use that to cover up my blemishes. I have some down here on my chin that I'm going to cover. And I have a couple right here. Next, I go ahead and set my foundation with my powder and I use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Kabuki brush to apply this L'Oreal Super Blendable Powder. And I just press it into the skin like this. I don't really buff it in because I feel like that just messes up the foundation when you do that. And it also messes up your concealer. <laughs> so I went ahead and put my blush and highlight on. And then the last thing that I do when it comes to my foundation routine is I go ahead and set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this, I've mentioned this so much lately, but this is definitely a must-have for me. I'm just going to go ahead and mist that on my face. Alright guys, so that completes my video on my foundation routine for the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you all enjoy eyeshadow tutorials or foundation tutorials or just any type of beauty video because I post videos at least a couple times a week. I will talk to you guys very soon and I hope that you all have a great day. Bye-bye.